Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the Pokedex of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now that we've seen regional variants, terrestrialized forms, and other things that are going to be in these new games, I wanted to discuss the overall roster of Pokemon. How many brand new designs can we expect? How many regional forms are we going to get? And what is this Pokedex going to look like once the game releases in November? We have not had a massive brand new Pokedex in a very long time. The last time that we got a brand new Pokedex that was completely full of monsters that we had never gotten, brand new designs totaling the amount closer to the original generation was generation five. In it, we had 156 new designs over black, white, black two, and white two. Since then, it is very obvious that Game Freak decided to make cuts. X and Y only had 72 new Pokemon. Sun and Moon was a little bit more because they introduced regional variants. We had 88 new Pokemon. That brought the total up to 809. The newest generation, Sword and Shield, with all of its games, Sword and Shield, BDSP, well, they didn't introduce any new Pokemon, but Legends Arceus included gave it a little bit of a bump. We had 96. There were almost 100 new Pokemon in that generation. Now we have Scarlet and Violet. As of now, we have 10 new Pokemon. One could expect that number to be in the 70 to 90 range. I would imagine that there would be around 80 Pokemon in this generation, 80 brand new designs. Now that of course includes regional variants, which are new Pokemon, and that also includes brand new Pokemon itself, a Clef Key, uh, if you're talking about X and Y, uh, a, a, the new Pokemon of Paldea, the starter Pokemon, Quaxley, Fuecoco, Sprigatito, all of these are included in that count. But this count is probably going to be lower than the 96 of the previous generation because I would not expect us to get a side game in this generation. There's usually a skipping. So Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon had Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but there were no brand new Pokemon introduced in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. You could, I guess, Meltan and Melmetal, but they were introduced in Pokemon Go. Sword and Shield had an expansion pass, and it had two different remakes. It had Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and it had Legends Arceus, which was a Sinnoh return, not exactly a remake, and it introduced new Pokemon. I don't think we're going to get remakes with the Scarlet and Violet generation, but I do think we're going to get DLC. And in the DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield, we did get brand new Pokemon. Calyrex and its two forms were introduced in the Crown Tundra. So you can expect that in any DLC we get for Scarlet and Violet, maybe letting us travel to that northeastern part of the region. The map seems to be clouded off in that part. That's where I would expect to see DLC. Or maybe there are some islands in the Mediterranean, if you're looking geographically at Spain and the Iberian Peninsula, in that area of the map that we could explore in an expansion pass that would probably introduce some brand new Pokemon. The roster is going to be small. There have been some leaks that have speculated that we might see a massive roster, 120 plus Pokemon, something much more akin to Generation 5 and the generations that came before it. But I don't think Game Freak does that anymore. I understand that we're getting close to a thousand Pokemon and I understand that some people might think this is the generation that Game Freak wants to blow past that number, but I don't think they want to necessarily touch it just yet, though I am open to being wrong on that. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Let's for a moment, though, take the leaks at their word. Some of the leaks put the Pokedex count anywhere between 100 to 150 new Pokemon in this generation. Given the fact that the last generation had 96, I don't think 100 is completely unreasonable, but it would put the Pokedex at 1,000, which is an interesting marker that I don't think Pokemon is willing to cross. But let's entertain it for a moment. We have not yet had a generation that's introduced 120 to 150 new Pokemon with the inclusion of gimmicks like regional forms. Regional forms have moved past simply being a gimmick. 
It was a gimmick in Gen 7 when they were introduced. It was a feature for the Alola region. But since then, Game Freak has found that the community absolutely loves it. It is the most popular gimmick they've ever introduced, and it is now a mainstay in the Pokemon franchise. Every single generation has had regional variants of some kind. So they're going to be in this game. They've already been revealed. We've seen Paldean Wooper for starters, my favorite new regional variant. So let's assume there's 120 to 150 Pokemon. How many of those are going to be regional variants? And of those Pokemon that are regional variants, how many of them are going to have a brand new evolution? Paldean Wooper is almost certainly going to evolve into a brand new Pokemon. It will not evolve into a Paldean Quagsire. It will not evolve into a Quagsire. It's going to be a brand new Pokemon. So add that onto the Pokedex count already. That is the 16th Pokemon that we've had in this generation. There are going to be evolutions for all three starters. You can add that to the count. And then we have all the regional variants. Let's assume there's maybe 25 regional variants and 150 Pokedex. I think that's fair to say. That's a big chunk of the Pokedex. Let's assume maybe five or six or seven of them get brand new evolutions. Generally, we've seen with regional variants, they are two stage evolutions. You get the regional variant and then you get a Pokemon that it evolves into. We really haven't seen a regional variant have a multi-staged evolution tree. We haven't seen it evolve into a middle form and then a third form. That really hasn't happened. The only time that we've seen it is with starter Pokemon that have gotten regional evolutions. So we've gotten regional variants of the three Hisuian starters. They evolve into brand new regional forms of already existing Pokemon. So we've seen that happen, but we really haven't seen a base stage regional form evolve three times or evolve two times into three different Pokemon. That could add a much higher number of Pokemon to the Pokedex. So if we're getting a regional Pokedex that is 120 to 150, you'd probably have to imagine that only maybe 90 to 95 of those are brand new Pokemon and the rest are regional forms. I think that's very likely to happen. The other thing that now has to be factored into the size of the Pokedex is Terra type Pokemon. How much of a window is Game Freak going to put towards specifically Pokemon with multiple Terra types? Do they consider those Pokemon part of the Pokedex? Do they consider them separate and a, an additional branch to Pokemon that are already in the decks? I think it's definitely the latter. I think they're going to not really take uh, ter Terra type Pokemon into account. I don't think you're going to have have special Terra evolutions, so Pokemon that can only evolve with certain Terra types. I don't think that's going to be a thing. I don't think they're going to go that deep into the feature, so that is going to be something that doesn't impact the Pokedex. It's going to be those regional forms. I think it's likely that we're not going to see that. I don't buy the leaks that we're going to see a Pokedex of 120 to 150, and I don't buy it for two reasons. One, it's just not in Game Freak's nature ever since Generation 5. Generation 5 is a very long time ago now. <laughs> black and white and black 2 and white 2 came out when I was 11 years old when I was 12 years old at the time I am now 22 this is not going to be uh, Game Freak has largely abandoned this and I think part of the reason is that Generation 5 was a bit of a soft reboot they wanted to give it a brand new roster and they immediately corrected that with black and white 2 so I don't think we're going to see that I don't believe the leaks I think we're going to see something in the in the vein of 80 new Pokemon and maybe 10 to 12 regional forms. The reason, on top of the fact that it doesn't fit Game Freak's current track record, is because of the release cycle. These games were announced back in February. It's now August. We are halfway through the month. We're almost to September. When you have a generation that introduces a ton of new Pokemon, they do not hold off every single Pokemon until release. They just don't. They reveal Pokemon every other week. Remember with Sun and Moon, they revealed tons of new Pokemon bi-weekly. And you can make an argument that the marketing factor has changed since then. They've changed their scope of how they market these games. But when you have a brand new generation, you like to reveal brand new Pokemon. We're almost getting into the end of summer and the beginning of fall is right around the corner. And we have only had 15. We've only had 10 Pokemon introduced up to this point, not even 15. I think this is going to be a average Pokedex for this current age of Pokemon that we're in. I don't think it's going to be massive, but I think it's worth speculating on what that could look like. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. How many Pokemon do you think are going to be in this Pokedex? Are we going to get a big blowout, 120 to 150? Or is it going to be more in line with what it's been in the last couple generations, 70 to 90? Let me know down below. If you guys want to see another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video this week, be sure to hit that like button. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.